Today is October 29th, and it is the 23rd day of the war between Israel, Hamas, and Hezbollah. So during the weekend, there was a lot of news, but on Shabbat, which is Saturday, there's no newspaper in Israel. Sunday morning brings the main headlines. Let's look into them right now. Betoch Aza, inside Gaza. Kochot karkaim gdolim shel tzahal poalim bitzfon haretzua. Large uh, ground troops of the IDF, which is the Israel Defense Force, are working in the northern part of the Gaza Strip. Beyom shishi ba'erev, during Friday evening, acharei hitlabtut lo out of uh, much indecisiveness, nitan ha'ot, the signal was given. The signal is about is a, regarding going in and invading uh, the Gaza Strip. Gicha shel mea metosei krav, Heshmida kemechamishi matarot, a flight of 100 um, jet fighter airplanes destroyed around 150 underground targets that were using uh, Hamas's um, leadership. Many terrorists were killed. Mechablim rabim nehergu. Bemakbil, alongside all of this, some ground troops, many large ground troops, entered Gaza as well. They're saying which troops? Shirion, Khir, Handasa. Hachashash, the concern is that Pchirei Hamas, seniors in the Hamas leadership, are going to try to escape to Sinai through the Rafa city. Rafa is a city town uh, bordering between Gaza and Egypt, and there are under, underground tunnels there, and they can escape through there. Ha'einaim, the eyes are gazing towards the other fronts. Milevanon ve'ad Tayman, from Lebanon until even Yemen. And in this uh, blurry photograph, we see tanks that are in the northern part of the Gaza Strip, Israeli tanks. This headline reads that this was a loaded, there was a loaded meeting, Pgishat Una, between mishpachot, families of the hostages, and the Prime Minister Netanyahu. And in this picture here, we see Net Prime Minister Netanyahu and his wife meeting with representatives of the, of the families. I'm going to open the page to the main article, which says, Peula Kodemet Leiska, which means the attack in Gaza preceded the negotiation plan to release the hostages. In the leadership of the IDF, they finally came to an agreement during the weekend, um, which was invading Gaza before dealing with the hostages. And in this image, we see that the Hamas uh, headquarters are positioned under the civilian hospital in Gaza. This is because Hamas, the terror group, uses civilians as their shield. The next headline reads, Drichut Bagvulot, high alert of the defense forces in the borders. So a sequence of disturbances in the northern border of Israel happened uh, during the weekend. Anti-tank missiles, mortar mortars and um, other bombs that have huge explosions were shot over to Israel. Even from Yemen, there was a threat. In this photograph, we see the heating up in the northern border between Israel and Lebanon. We see the thick smoke from missiles that were shot in. And in this small uh, square down here, Israel b'milchama, Israel is in war, haslama batzafon, heating up in the north. In this article, we see the photograph, a very strong photograph of protesters, and these are families of the hostages that are in Gaza that were taken on October 7th. They're holding large posters of their family members that are in Gaza. The headline reads, Kol hatufim, all of the hostages, tmurat kol ha'asirim, in exchange of all of the prisoners. And the prisoners they're speaking about are, the, are terrorists throughout the years that have been imprisoned in uh, Israel jails. And here it says that the families are worried about their hostages now that the ground invasion has happened before any exchange. And the square it says, Israel b'milchama, Israel is at war. Hashavat ha'chatufim, the return of the uh, hostages, or wanting their return. I'm turning the page to the daily segment about the hostages. It says, Chatufim, hostages. And it's a photo of a father holding a picture of his beautiful daughter. She's 19 year old and she's kidnapped. She's in Gaza. Roni Eshel. And here are a few sentences about who she is and what she did in the military. Um, and she was kidnapped. This article is about miracles. Th these are direct hits during the weekend 
from missiles from Gaza in Kiryat Ono, that's a city in central Israel, in Tel Aviv, everyone knows Tel Aviv, right, on the coast, coastal line, in Beersheba, the north of the south, and in another uh, central um, village. And they, they were all hit uh, directly into residential areas, but um, the injuries were very light and no one was killed. Hadayarim lo the residents were not at home. Zehayanes, it was a miracle. And in the square it says, Israel b'milchama, Israel is at war, Medina tachat esh, a country under fire. So although there's a miracle that no one was hurt, uh, severely hurt or killed, the destruction is massive. Uh, cars are on fire, uh, homes are completely destroyed, but it was a miracle that everyone stayed alive. Turning the page to the next article, the headline reads, Limudim rak b'mivnim im merchav mugan mesapek, meaning a school will take place only in facilities that have adequate bomb shelters. Adequate bomb shelter means it's large enough and it's close enough for quick access. In this photograph, we see children going to school. More and more areas are being included in, uh, in which limitations and school attendance is happening. This is because Israel is feeling a threat. He's, it's assessing a threat that's coming and Homeland Security is asking um, the population to take more precaution. This is the daily segment as well about the faces, new faces of those who were murdered on October 7th in the horrendous terror attack. Israel b'milchama, Israel is at war. Hapanim shenizkor la'a, the faces that we will remember forever. And these are families here. There is Zohar, Yaniv, Tchelet, and Yasmin, and many other faces of civilians and soldiers. And a couple here, that's Noam and Dikla, they were all killed. Let's end on a positive note. And this article is about a heroic act of some of the fighters in the South. They're just real heroes that were protecting their soldiers, protecting civilians. Um, of course, many died doing heroic acts, and these are um, still amongst the living. And on the left here, there's a uh, very positive note about um, civilians bringing warm food and barbecue meat and they're cooking for the uh, soldiers that are serving in reserve duty. This has been the main headlines in the newspaper Sundays, the beginning of the week. If you want more stories, please go to allisrael.com and follow us on social media, on YouTube. Please share these stories with your friends and family to get the reality of what's going on in Israel out there. This is Rotem again for All Israel News.